Hello and welcome to our lifestyle, beauty and fashion show. I'm your host Adeze Adoaka and these are the headlines. Buju Banton accuses Afrobeat of biting off dance hall without paying respect. Ben Affleck looks surprisingly happy in Los Angeles as Jennifer Lopez divorce drama intensifies. Booed up singer Ella Mai welcomes first baby with Boston Celtics star Jason Tatum. And Violet Affleck sports same Dolce & Gabbana dress stepmom Jennifer Lopez once wore on Valentine's Day date with Ben. And on our trending segment, in a recent interview on the Drinking Champs podcast, Jamaican reggae and dancehall star Buju Banton commented on the rise of Afrobeats, which he tags as lacking in impact. According to Buju Banton, Afrobeats is enjoying international success, but the music doesn't edify or reflect the struggles of the continent like the work of older African artists. The Jamaican stated that while Afrobeats is on a global rise, the songs do not connect with the plight of its audience. Banton also pointed that unlike reggae music which documents a different aspect of life, Afrobeats doesn't reflect Africa's current political climate with the ongoing protests in different countries. According to Banton, Afrobeat stars aren't featuring their Jamaican counterparts but rather future artists from other continents. And on our sports segment, Ben Affleck looked uncharacteristically happy as he arrived at his Beverly Hills, California office on Thursday. The Jesse Girl star, who has been endlessly trolled for his resting B face, smiled as he walked into work wearing a suit and carrying a large black duffel bag. While Affleck dressed with a smile this week, a source recently said that this summer has been difficult for him amid his reported divorce proceedings with Lopez. He's just trying to stay focused and make every day as good as possible, the source said. Now, there has been so many rumors about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck having a divorce. Speculations here and there. Today he's wearing the ring, tomorrow he's not. Next thing we hear that they want to sell their house, all of that. They say, oh, they're not selling. Next thing they've traveled, or Jennifer Lopez is alone, and then Ben Affleck is in another country. It's just been back and forth about this their divorce thing. And they just got married what day? And then now we're talking about divorce again. It's like so stressful. And then Ben with his face, his face is so funny. Like, I have never caught Ben smiling or laughing before. So for us to see him smiling and happy, I wonder what this is about. Now on to our editorial segment. After the Boston Celtics star and the Team USA men's basketball team defeated France in the Paris Olympics finals on Saturday, he and his girlfriend Ella Mai debuted their baby during a family photo shoot in honor of Tatum's big win. In a video shared online, Tatum posed with the brood up singer who was holding the newborn, his mom, his grandma and his eldest son Jason Tatum Jr whom he shares with his high school girlfriend, Toria Lachelle. And on our new collection, Reebok's new collection showcases a striking icy color palette of always blue and silver chrome, complemented by expressive design elements reflecting Reese's unapologetic attitude. Angel Reese said that she worked closely with the brand to ensure that each piece was designed to evoke confidence and expression. This collection is for HER to be stylish and fierce on all occasions. Footwear highlights include the premier Premier Road 6 and classic leather, while apparel features standout pieces such as the Angel Lux bodysuit and Angel graphic tee. The Reebok by Angel collection will be available in adult and kids sizes. And on Spicy or Not, on Sunday, the 18-year-old daughter of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner was spotted grabbing lunch in Los Angeles wearing a familiar two-tone pink dress. The Dolce & Gabbana design was initially worn by the teen stepmom Jennifer Lopez, who rocked the look on a Valentine's Day date with Ben. She dressed down the V-neck frock, adding a pair of sporty sneakers that featured red laces along with white ankle socks and her go-to Claire framed glasses. Now seeing your stepdaughter rock an outfit that you've worn before is actually really exciting and I love the way that she paired it up and did it her own way, you know, with her Claire glasses, now rocking the sneakers instead of heels that Jennifer wore. I think it's really exciting and beautiful to see. And don't forget to catch us up at Spice TV underscore Africa. Until the next episode, do have a lovely time. Bye-bye.